Good morning, friends. I think God is very happy at the moment. I think God smiles when young people uh, and older people uh, come together uh, as a big family to, to worship. And I hope that when we uh, worship together today that we will feel very deeply uh, God's happiness and God's delight. I'm going to share with you some words, uh, I'm going to read them to you, some words that uh, Jesus spoke. Uh, these words, I hope you will learn, keep very close to your heart uh, for all your lives beautiful words. I'm going to read them to you from Luke chapter 12. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies or for two cents? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Friends, I want to begin uh, with a very uh, simple question. And it's a question for all the young people uh, who are with us here today as well as a question for all the older people. I want to ask you, who are the special people in your life? All of us have special people uh, in our lives. These are the people uh, who love us, who care for us, and these are the people that we love and that we care for. Whether we are five years of age, uh, whether we are 15 years of age, whether we are 50 years of age, or whether you're an old man like me, all of us have special people in our lives. It could be our parents, mom and dad, uh, it could be our children, it could be our husband or wife, our partner in life. It could, have, it could be our, our, our uncle or aunt. It could be Omar or Opa. It could be a teacher. It could be a coach. It could be someone that you come to church with uh, every Sunday. Who are the special people in your life? I want you to think about them today. These are the people who can make us so happy. And these are the people sometimes who can also break our heart. And the question that I want to ask myself today is what is the best gift? What is the most wonderful gift? What is the greatest gift that we can give? Uh, to those who are special, to those that we love. And I want to suggest, please don't forget this, I want to suggest that the most wonderful gift, the best gift, the greatest gift that we can give to the special people in our lives is the gift of attention, of attention. And I say that because that, that is our Father's gift to us. And He wants us to give that gift to those that we love. I love these words by Jesus. Can we just look at them just once again? He says, are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them, not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are numbered. So don't be afraid, you're worth far more than many sparrows. And what Jesus wants us to know, 
when he talks about these sparrows and the hairs on our head, is that our heavenly Father is attentive to every small detail in our life, that our God pays us attention Each one of us, each one of us has a place in our Father's house. And and He wants us to give that gift to the special people in our lives. And And that's what Jesus did when Jesus was on this earth. He always gave to people special attention. And what I'm going to do, and I hope this is gonna be helpful, is I'm gonna show you three pictures today. Three pictures of Jesus showing attention. And I hope that you will never, ever forget these three ways in which we can give attention to the special people uh, in our lives. And each picture involves a part of our body. The first way uh, Jesus paid attention was with his eyes. He looked at people, and he looked at people in a very special way so that they always knew that they were valuable and special. One of the most beautiful moments in his life, and look at the picture, it's gonna come off of the screen, is when Jesus is with Mary after the resurrection, and Mary's in the garden, and she's crying, and he comes to her, looks at her, and he calls her by her name, Mary. I love that picture, because it shows Jesus looking, looking, at her. We have forgotten how to look at each other. We look at our phones today far more than we look at each other. Some years ago, my family took me out, it was Father's Day. They took me to a a restaurant and we sat outside. And you know that when you sit in the sun outside, it's very difficult because of the sun's glare to see what's, what's on your phone. But what I found so funny was that there were four young people. I think they must have been about 13, 14, 15 years of age. Four young people sitting at a table uh, next, next to us. And uh, because of the sun's glare, Uh, they all put their phones under the table and they all had their heads on the table looking at their phone in the shadow under the table. We got together and we, we made a picture of this with some of the young people from Mosaic. And let me tell you, it was far worse than that, those four young people I was with. But they're not looking at each other. And sometimes I go to a restaurant and I watch people. We've forgotten how to look at each other. I never forget when my son was seven years of age, uh, he played cricket, and I went to go watch him, and he was a fast bowler. And his, his favorite, favorite cricketer uh, was Alan Donald. And some of you may remember that when Alan Donald bowls someone out, he would really get happy and he would run around uh, like an aeroplane on the pitch. And and my son used to practice that in the lounge uh, so that he could do the same thing. And I went to go watch him and he came in to bowl and uh, he bowled this guy out. And I thought to myself, he's now going to do the Alan Donnell celebration, but he didn't. The first thing he did was that he looked to the grandstand where I was sitting to see if I was looking at him. He wanted me to be looking at him. We long for people to look at us with love 
with interest, with care. That's how we show attention. With our, with our eyes. But there's another way uh, in which we pay attention to each other. It's, it's, it's with our ears. As we listen to each other. I, I love it in the Gospels. Jesus is often with people and he's talking with people. But he doesn't only talk with people. He often asks them questions and he listens to them as well. And one of my favorite scenes in the gospel is when he's sitting, look at this picture, it's when Jesus is sitting with Peter and, and he's got his hand on his shoulder and I just have a sense here that Jesus is really, really listening to him very, very, uh, very carefully. One of the most important gifts we give to each other is when we listen. Uh, I've been learning how to listen for the past 40 years. <laughs> I'm still learning. I remember one sitting at the table, my children were about six or seven years of age, and they were telling me something, and my mind was somewhere else, I'll never forget. And I think it was my daughter, uh, Joni, and she said to me, Dad, what did I just say? <laughs> and I didn't know. I hadn't listened. And then on another, another occasion, my son said, hey, Dad, this is earth calling you. Come in, Dad, come in. I was far away. One of the most special gifts, one of the most special gifts that we give to the special people in our lives. It's a gift of attention. It's with our, it's with our ears as we listen, but there's a third way. It's with our hands. It's when we lend a hand, when we help each other. I love this picture of Jesus as a, as a youngster uh, working in his father's uh, carpentry shop. Joseph and Mary are there as well. And I have, a, I have a picture there in my mind when I look at that picture of, of Jesus lending a hand, of just paying attention to what his mom and dad are doing and then helping them out. It's a wonderful gift. And even if we get it wrong, even if we, if we try help out and it goes wrong, that's okay. It just shows that we are paying attention. I'm married, some of you know this, to uh, a wonderful person uh, by the name of Debbie. And Debbie has a sister, uh, Carol. Carol's got a big heart. Uh, and Debbie was telling me once when they were young, young people in the house, Carol was about six years of age, she had noticed that, that mom and dad loved eggs on mints, loved eggs on mints. And so she decided to lend a hand. And one Saturday she said to mom and dad, you stay in bed, I'm going to make you uh, eggs on mints. And so she made it and she took it into the, the bedroom and as mom and dad ate it, it tasted a little bit different. And slowly they realized that what Carol had done is that she had gone to the fridge and had taken the dog food out and had made egg on mince with the dog food. Now her mom and dad still ate it because they were just so pleased that she had lent a hand. She had lent a hand. She had paid attention to what they liked. I want to invite you today, each one of you, young and old, I want to invite you as I invite myself to give a gift to the special people in our lives. It's the gift of attention. And we use three parts of the body. Uh, can we just remember what those three parts are again? First of all, there is our, our eyes. And then secondly, there are our 
ears. And thirdly, our hands. That's how we pay attention. That's how we give a special gift to each other. Some of you are wondering why I wanted you um, to get a hazelnut today. And I want to tell you a story as I, as I close. We pay attention uh, to the special people in our lives because our Heavenly Father pays attention to us. Many, many years ago, many years ago, there was a woman by the name uh, of Julian. Uh, she lived in the 14th century um, and she loved God. And one day she got a vision of a hazelnut, an ordinary hazelnut. And she said to God, God, why did you give me this picture of a hazelnut? And it was almost as if God said to her, I want you to know that I made that hazelnut. I love that hazelnut. And I keep that hazelnut. And if I do that with a hazelnut, how much more do I do it with you? I have made you, I love you, and I will keep you always. That's how much God pays attention to us. Last year, a very dear friend of mine living in George uh, was very ill and we knew that he was going to die. And uh, his, his wife said to me, Trevor, I don't think he's going to live long. And so I went down immediately to go be with a special person in my life. I didn't know what to say. So I got onto the bed with him and I just lay with him. And then I gave him a hazelnut. And I said to him, Pitt, I always want you to know that God made you, that God loves you, and that God will always keep you. Two weeks later, he died, and his wife told me that through that time of two weeks, he kept this hazelnut in his hands all the time. And I want you to take this hazelnut home, whether you're young or old, and I want you to always know that the God we worship the God that we meet in Jesus Christ is the God who has made us, who loves us, and who will keep us forever. Let's pray together. Dear Father, we thank you that as you care for the sparrows and as you know how many the hairs we have on our head. So you pay attention to us, the smallest details. Help us to know that today. And help us, Father, please help us. Help us to give this gift that you give to us. Help us to give this gift to the special people in our own lives. Help us to give this gift with our, with our eyes, uh, with, our, with our ears, and with our hands. And this is our prayer. And we offer it to you, Father, with all the love and with all the longing of our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we say together, amen, amen. If you need prayer today, Go to the Wholeness Center and not to the Clip Cat, just for today. May the joy of Jesus be with you. Bless you.